repugnant, but that hasn't stopped some people from trying to explore the buildings. I'd like you to head over there to the no trespassing signs. They tend to take their pictures and move on without getting too close. The warnings are mainly for the benefit. Be careful while you're out there. There's been talk of reopening the mine and the museum, but the cost of renovating the place is staggering. Especially when you consider that we need to build a road just to reach it. There's a couple of rooms that could be a trespasser. We lost a pair of men that entered the reserve a few days ago. But they're here on a hunting trip with an expected guy. What they call local folklore. Apparently they observed the USA hunting for monsters or aliens or something. A place as wild as this has a story. Yukon Valley postcards. Everyone snaps a picture of Millerwood Mine. I'm calling. 
Not much point in me calling you now, huh? I didn't expect this from a professional film crew. What possessed them to enter this building? I need to speak to them about what they've done here. That phone you picked up is the only way I had of contacting them. So we're gonna have to track them down. Given their total lack of bushcraft or respect for their surroundings, it should hopefully be an easy trail to follow. You've done a lot to help, but this is going to need an officer on site just in case things get ugly. I'm on my way. Look, to your east, there's a column of smoke. It looks like it's coming from close to one of our lookouts. I told you they'd be easy to track. Let's catch up with them before they set the whole forest ablaze. doctor right now. I can't wait around. We're taking off. I've got this. Heading back to base. We'll have a doctor standing by. Can you take care of their camp? We can't have it lying around. Attracting bears.
Hey there, Chichiko. I'll bet you have a lot of questions that you want to ask me, huh? Before you start, let me just give you the highlights. Baden's face and shoulder were pretty torn up. She took a swipe from a fully grown grizzly, all while her friend accidentally, or should I say, incidentally, bear sprayed her. The spray likely saved her life, though. They thought that a 22 pistol was enough protection against grizzlies. So as well as spraying the bear, they shot it in the side. I've seen bears shrug off spray and even larger caliber rounds. So I'd say these guys are lucky it decided to run off, instead of making it angrier. Anyway, Baden's in surgery this morning. The bear's claws gave her some nasty head wounds. And it was able to sink its teeth into her shoulder before running off. She'll be out of it for a few days. I'll question her when doctors say she's ready. I have to say, you handled yesterday well, Chichiko. You kept a level head, even when things went off the rails. I've had rookie troopers under my care who would have struggled in the same scenario. It's entirely possible that you saved that film crew's lives. Not only did you help to solve a crime that led to us saving some woefully underprepared, um, let's just say explorers, shall we? You took care of the mess at the mine, and at their camp, too. It's not like this is the first big impact your work has had on the reserve. You helped us to quarantine a potentially devastating infestation of spruce bark beetles. You assisted with scientific research programs and helped us to safeguard Yukon Valley's future. I know it might have seemed counterintuitive to hire a professional hunter when the plan was to protect Yukon Valley's wildlife, but I know that I made the right choice. Your work out here will have far-reaching repercussions for not only the forests, plains, and lakes, but everything that lives here as well. And that includes me. At first, the plan was for you to take over a lot of my informal duties, the tasks that aren't officially part of my job, but are essential to the running of the reserve. Maintaining populations, containing threats, and gathering samples for scientific research. All great reasons for hiring a professional hunter. But I told you before that I was looking for someone <laughs> Someone I could trust to take care of it, the same way I do. A trial of sorts, helping me to prepare the reserve for winter. I feel like the reserve is ready now, and that's largely thanks to your efforts. Sandy might have told you, but she's delighted that you've had this effect on the reserve. In this past week, We've spent more time together than we had done in the entire previous month. In fact, now that the reserve is ready for winter, and I have my ambassador out there, I'm making plans to take Sandy and my girls on a trip somewhere nice. What do you think? Beach? Lake? Skiing trip? I'll ask Sandy tonight when I get home. Oh, and when I get back from my vacation, you and I should discuss your contract. Winter in the Yukon is no picnic. But I'd like to invite you to stay on indefinitely. If you're interested. You'll be an old sourdough like me in no time. 